What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I will be making schedule predictions for every single Power 5 conference team in college football for this upcoming season. And I will also do a subsequent conference standings video once I finish every team in a specific conference. Just as a little synopsis of all of my schedule predictions for that conference to that point. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this one, which is going to be on the LSU Tigers schedule prediction for 2022. So just some quick thoughts on the LSU Tigers program heading into 2022. I find this team to be one of, one of, if not the hardest teams to really peg down as to what they're going to be next season, because there's just so much unknown with them around that program right now. Brian Kelly takes over as the head coach and brings in a brand new staff with him, and he has a great track record. I think he's going to lead LSU to do great things in the future, but in year one, things are never easy, even for the great coaches, and with LSU, it's even there's even more to it than, than just him coming in as a year one head coach. The quarterback situation, for example, is very much unknown. Uh, at this point, there's not even really a clear-cut starter, and even of the guys competing, none of them are really known commodities, especially in the SEC level. And overall, just the roster has a lot of questions on it, a lot of unknowns there as well. Just, it has a lot of talent, too. I mean, it's just, we don't have any idea how any of that talent's going to work together, and like I said, lots of unknowns, lots of moving pieces. There's been a lot of movement in the transfer portal, both into the roster and out of the roster. And, you know, I don't know. Despite that, though, LSU is going to have one of the most talented rosters in the conference. There's just, like I said, no clear picture on how that's all going to meld together and, and make a, a, you know, a cohesive team at the end of it all. So let's just go ahead now and dive into the schedule, starting with just some quick guaranteed wins for LSU against teams who just have no real hope of beating them next year, barring absolute catastrophe. And those teams are Southern, New Mexico, and UAB. Those three teams have no real shot. So now let's open up with the first game on the schedule, and that's going to be Florida State. And Florida State is a very good opener for LSU because they're a good team that will challenge LSU at times, but they aren't better than them. And, you know, like I said, they'll give them a good challenge, a good competition, but LSU is just a, a, a better team than them. It's it's in Louisiana. It's not in you know LSU's home stadium, but it's in Louisiana, so it's essentially a home game for them, even though it's not technically one. I think LSU will struggle a little bit early here. Not only struggle, but it's going to be a, an evenly hard-fought game early on, but I think LSU is going to pull away towards the second half of the game and really start to stretch things out there and come out with a pretty strong win to start off the season. And then the next game up will be Mississippi State, and this is a game that I think LSU – is a better team in, but not by a very wide margin. Mississippi State has the ability to sneak up and beat just about anyone this year, and really any year, especially with Mike Leach running things there. But I do think that LSU being at home here makes it very unlikely for them to be able to pull that off in this one. They do need to be careful, but I have LSU winning this one out by the, when it's all said and done there in the end. Next game up is at Auburn, and Auburn is just a team that I have really low expectations for. I just don't think they're going to have much of a chance against the SEC West next year. I know that it's not the most popular opinion out there, but I really just don't see them getting many wins at all next season, and I think LSU is going to go into Auburn, get a pretty sizable win on the road without too terrible of a difficulty. I mean, Auburn's still a good enough team to give them a little bit of competition, but I think it's a pretty easy win for them when it's all said and done. Next game up is Tennessee. In Tennessee, they get them at home, and it's a very interesting matchup for me because I think that they are a better team than LSU heading into next year. Tennessee is the superior team, but this game is at home for LSU, which is a massive, massive advantage for them, and this is a game that I see being a real toss-up, could go either way. I do think, though, that Tennessee has a large quarterback edge in this game, and I think that's ultimately going to make the difference here. I think that they're going to go into LSU and get a tough, close, hard-fought win um, by the end of it. A game LSU could win, but again, I think Tennessee is just a noticeably better team with a much better quarterback at this point. Next game up is at Florida, and Florida is a team that's in a very, very similar situation to LSU next year, as they both are in year one under new head coaches, taking over programs that are historically pretty great, but they've slipped up some in recent years. Uh, I think LSU is currently a slightly more talented team than Florida, just roster-wise, but that you know is only by a little bit. It's not a large talent um, gap by any means. And with this game being in the swamp, it makes it a really, really tough matchup for LSU. I think Florida has the better quarterback in this game as well. And so because of that, because of the home field, slightly better quarterback, I think Florida sneaks out a very, very close win in a game that really could truly go either way. 
I'm not confident on this game in either direction. I'm just I'm going to go with Florida mainly for home field advantage here. Next game is Ole Miss, and Ole Miss is a very good team next year. I have high expectations for them. But I think with this one being at home for LSU, things get really difficult for Ole Miss to come in on the road, go into LSU and get a win. To me, I think they're a pretty equally talented teams, and LSU maybe even has a slight talent advantage roster-wise, just top to bottom than Ole Miss. Uh, I think the quarterback position is almost a push, maybe a slight lean to Ole Miss, but it's not a big enough advantage here. I'm going to side with LSU in a very close hard-fought game again, where I think home field advantage will once again make the difference, kind of similar to the Florida game, but the reverse of it. I think LSU gets a very good, very impressive, honestly, win against Ole Miss. Next game on the schedule is Alabama, and Alabama is the first team on the schedule where I just don't feel like LSU has much of a realistic chance in the game. Now, being at home is a massive help in this one, but Bama is just so much more talented than them. They have way more experience than them. They're far more cohesive than them at this point without all of the turnover and coaching changes and roster changes that LSU is going to have just top to bottom. I have Alabama winning this one by a pretty decent margin. LSU could give them a run, but I think Bama will end up winning that one. And then the next game is at Arkansas. Arkansas is a team that I'm very high on next year, and in this matchup, I feel that they're going to have a better quarterback and overall better roster. The talent is roughly equal between the two teams, but Arkansas as a team, I think, is better. I think they work better as a team. The continuity between the coaching staff, returning a lot of players as well, I think that's a huge benefit here. Also, Arkansas is at home. They've had a lot more time together to build up as a team. They have a great culture already in place. I think all those things propel them to a pretty strong win here. LSU is going to be competitive. This is a game that they could very much win, but I think Arkansas gets the win here. And then the last game on the schedule is at Texas A&M, and Texas A&M is another team that is just a little bit better than LSU at this point, but from a roster standpoint, speaking at least. And then when you factor in the coaching staff continuity, the experience, and the cohesion on the team, the massive home field advantage that they're going to have in this game too, I think I have to side with A&M here getting a win in this one. But LSU, they're going to fight hard. They're going to be very competitive throughout the game. This isn't a game that A&M can just walk in and expect to win easily. But also, they are the better team. They are at home. They aren't in year one of a brand new coaching staff and culture. So I think all those things will lead them to getting the win here. I think LSU is just a year or two away from really being able to consistently win games like at A&M on the road there. So that would make LSU 7-5 and five on the season, which I know is not what the fan base wants, but I think it's pretty fair when you consider the immense roster turnover that they have heading into next year, plus an entire coaching staff overhaul. Building a team takes time, and while I have no doubt Brian Kelly will field an elite team in a few years at LSU, I just don't think they're quite ready yet to really push for that SEC West. And now they could end up winning some games that I have them losing here, like Tennessee or Florida or Ole Miss or maybe even an upset like Arkansas or A&M, maybe even Alabama, who knows. But I just don't think that it's very likely for them to do that, or at the very least, it's not likely for them to win more than one of those kind of games. But really, honestly, anywhere from 6 and 6 to 9 and 3 or even 10 and 2, I think are pretty reasonable predictions for LSU at this point. There's just so much that we don't know about them just yet. We don't know how the culture is going to work. We don't know how the roster is going to come together. We don't know who's going to be playing in certain positions of that are very important like quarterback. And, and there's just a lot of unknowns there. So for me, I'm going to go with a 7-5, and five, kind of split it in the middle of what the expectation should be, I feel like. I think that's a good, safe, and pretty fair record for LSU next year. Anyway, though, that'll do it for this one. Let me know down below in the comment section where you guys agree and or disagree with me on the LSU schedule in 2022. Tell me what record you think that they're going to have next year and who, if anyone, they're going to lose to. Also, if you have made it this far in the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more college football content in the future. It really helps out a lot. shows me that you guys like this kind of content. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.